mounting my spare tire on top of the new bed rack on my Tacoma. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and welcome back to the channel. Today it is time. I am going to mount the spare tire there on top of, finally, on top of the bed rack that I installed a few days ago on my Tacoma. Now, why am I doing that? Well, because I wanted to get it up out of the way, but still have it easily accessible. And quite frankly, I just think it looks cool. So I've gone ahead, I actually made myself a little template here. Um, and I did that by flipping the tire over and then um, marking where the holes were through the uh, tire so I could have the right uh, spacing, I guess. So what I'm doing, we'll climb up here and show you. Let's see, I have marked it already. And what I did with my little pattern here, fortunately there's a bolt, how convenient, right in the middle. So I was able to put the middle of my circle here on the bolt. You guys get the idea, right? And then the two lug nut holes here, because I'm gonna run two studs down through there. I'll drill a hole on each side and then fit my uh, studs, if you will, right through those holes. Now, as far as the studs go, let me show you what I'm doing there. It's a little bit different than before um, because I think it'll be a little bit more secure. So what I've got right here are a couple of uh, lag bolts. And luckily for me, the heads of these lag bolts fit right in the lug nut holes. Check that out. It's like it was meant to be, right? And the chrome or silver top there is hidden so you won't be able to see it. And then, see if I can get this thing back out of here. And then we'll run this through so it'll run through the top of the wheel down through the bracket up there or the bed rack. And then I will use wing nuts, the same as I was doing before on the bottom. The only difference is, is now I'm not going up against paint, right? I'm going up against the back of the wheel there, which is nice and flat and unpainted and it should be perfect. So that's my plan. We'll see, uh, we'll see if it works. I guess next up I have to drill uh, those holes out. And that's really the critical part, drilling those holes through the bed rack, and then it should be cake from there. And I am still gonna lock it down, by the way. I have the uh, little lock thing here that I used before. I am gonna do it the same way, except this time it'll be through the bed rack as opposed to through where it is up there right now. So let me go ahead and uh, drill my holes. I'll come back on and show you where I'm at. Okay, after two drills, uh, I have the holes drilled. You can see here and here. And I suppose a smart man would probably paint over that. I guess I'll have to do that just to make sure this doesn't rust. But my stud fits through like you can see. And before you say, I know it's not supposed to go that way. It's gonna come up from the bottom um, and it's gonna hit that way. So the little nub, it is a carriage bolt. Uh, really won't matter much. So next I am going to touch that up with some paint just a little bit just to make sure it doesn't rust and then we'll get on with the install. Okay, I've hoisted the tire up there. Actually not quite as bad as I thought it was going to be that or I'm getting stronger. I don't know. But let's crawl up here. Take a look. I'll show you the studs. Um, they're not going to go in this way, of course. Um, they're going to actually come up through the bottom, but um, I can place them this way, which makes it a bunch easier to do than working down below. So we see we do have them lined up. I do need to measure the distance uh, side to side and front to front if I want to be picky just to make sure the tire is centered uh, properly on the rack. I mean, hopefully, once again, I'm never going to have to take this thing down. So if I get it set up the right way the first time, I'm really hoping that it's just going to stay that way. Right? The idea is to have a spare and never use it. It's kind of like insurance. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to bolt this thing on, and then I'm going to show you guys the finished product. Okay, I am finished, and I am sweating to death out here. You guys can see it is 95 degrees with 46% humidity. Uh, I don't know. Seems kind of hot to me. But anyway, I'm all done. Let's, uh, let's take a look. I'll show you uh, how I finished it up here. Uh, first of all, let's start at the top, I guess. 
Here are the cables run through with the padlock on there to hold this thing. I did use thumb screws again. Um, I thought that was a good way to be able to take it off without tools, although may need a pair of pliers or something to get these things turned in because they're on there tight. Um, I did use a rubber um, washer underneath the steel just to protect the back of the wheel. Didn't really have to do that, but I thought it was a good idea. Um, this is a three foot cable, by the way, or six foot, in case anybody's wondering. And then let's uh, take a quick, quick peek underneath here. You guys can see right up there, hopefully. That's where the screws go through, and they're the rounded ones on the ends, obviously. The one in the center is the center bar for the uh, bed rack. And then we have a little bit of an overhang for the uh, cable that goes through, but not much, not much. Now, let's take a look from the back. Might as well see it from all angles, right? So there's what it would look like. I'll go ahead and put the gate up. There's what it looks like from the rear. Uh, you can see through the rear view window, of course. So I'll do a video on that. We're going to go drive around and take a look at what the rear is like, the rear view is like with this setup. Um, you already saw what the one was or the rear view was like with the other setup. So we'll show you what that looks like. Um, still lots of room, of course, for stuff on the sides, which is what this is really for. Uh, the tire is up there tight. It's not going anywhere. And for anybody that uh, wants to know, I did use half inch uh, lag bolts or carriage bolts uh, to put that on um, with the wing nuts, of course. And there are two of them, one on each side uh, going through the steel. It's actually aluminum. This stuff is aluminum. I know I was worried about it rusting before. No need to be. Um, and then also, of course, we have the cables on there so for some reason. Everything failed. Uh, the tire's not going to go flying. It's got both bolts as well as the cable running through two different spots. So I'm pretty confident that uh, it's never going to break loose. And even if it did, if all the stars align, it still isn't going to fly off of there. Uh, so I'm not really concerned about that. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this solution. I know nobody liked the other one with the tire behind the window. Um, and I can see that, I can understand, it did block view, and this does block your view just slightly, uh, but you can still see behind you, so I uh, kind of solved that problem. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of this setup. It is the uh, bed rack with the spare tire on top. Uh, also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator up there. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.